actually, I'm going to share a little. Like, I went to San, San Francisco uh, last week, and maybe it's my mind. I'm a little bit on the. I'm very skeptical, a little mm -hmm. bit suspicious, but the homelessness there increased by what 400 mm percent -hmm. so I'm wondering and it just was such it was a unique experience because yeah. I walked by harmless homeless mm -hmm. people but then I'm going inside the stores and the stores had like this anxiety I asked mm -hmm. this guy would you mind if I bought if I bought something could, could I please have some change oh no we don't give change mm -hmm. is the ATM working no the ATM but he puts his mask on so I'm like oh my gosh right. like why are they so I'm thinking, to me, at this point, I'm starting to think, why are they allowing so much homelessness? Is that an excuse and a pretext to introduce more socialist uh, policies? Because uh, they were talking about, like, even in the hotel, it's Marriott. Why would I need a car to go use the restroom in the lobby? Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's not safe. You're putting, they're putting this unsafe stigma. Right. I've never seen a homeless person come in this Marriott. Mm -hmm. Uh, so homelessness persists not because of insufficient safety nets, but due to deliberate government inaction or flawed policies. Mm -hmm. Could that be why they're not fixing the homelessness situation? Yeah, that, that could be part of the problem. So you have a lot of people who feel better about themselves when they see people who are doing horribly. They say, well, at least that's not me. And government needs that, and that's how you keep people inspired because, you know, it, it, it's a way of saying to people, well, don't come and complain because you could be that person. So we do, a, we do have a, a tendency to uh, create an underclass of people, but it shouldn't be. And the reason is, is because we have all of the resources that we need to take care of people. We take care of people in other countries. Right. We billions them, of dollars. Yeah, billions and billions of dollars. And we could have solved our homelessness issue a long time ago. So the good news is I have solutions. Part of the problem is people don't understand homelessness because it's lumped all into one category. But the truth is there's several layers of homelessness. And people have different tolerance levels when it comes to homelessness and that, uh, that desire to help certain people or willingness to help certain people and certain classes of homelessness. The first thing you have to do is focus on prevention. We have to make sure that we don't have one more person become homeless here in Las Vegas. The next thing we have to do is recognize that there are people, oftentimes families, who have working parents or a working parent who just got laid off and they couldn't pay their rent or they made one bad decision, which could happen to all of us, and they couldn't pay their rent. So now they're sofa surfing. They're sleeping under the roof of a family member or friend, may not even have a key to the door, but they are sofa surfing. Then you have those people who are living in transient motels at their own expense because they can't afford to put down a deposit on a place or they can't demonstrate that they make three times the amount of rent at a particular place or they've gotten bad credit for whatever reason and they just can't qualify for a place. Then you have those persons who are sleeping in their cars and all of the above <coughs> are probably working <coughs> every single day. So most people are tolerant of those people. They say, oh, they just fell down on their luck. But we need to focus on that and have people assist those people that they're willing to help. But then it gets a little more dicey. You have people who are squatters, who break into houses and squat. And the truth is, there's a major law against that. It is an aggravated misdemeanor. So you can call the police and you could get them out, but people don't know that. And the police oftentimes, police oftentimes don't know that they have the authority to get those people out because they're trespassing. Then you have those persons who are unsheltered, sleeping on the street, or sleeping in a underneath that canopy that they have at uh, 204 Master called the Courtyard here in Las Vegas. And that's a shame. People should never have to live like that. And the city should not plan for people to live like that. It's easier to house them. And then finally, you have those people who are completely unsheltered and don't want to be a part of society. Well, you have to have a place for them too, but it can't be on the streets of Las Vegas. They're places that we can fashion and design and develop 
for people who just want to live in the great outdoors. There's some people who say, give me a home where the buffaloes roam and, you know, give me that. I just want to live in the mountains. I've had people tell me, I've got a spot in the mountains that I picked out where I want to live. Well, we can do that and provide them the infrastructure. Um, the plumbing and the electricity and the shelter so that they can live. A lot of people don't go into shelters because they may have a dog and the dogs are not welcome in the shelter. So we have to modify our shelters to enable them to do that. But I can't sleep at night knowing that people are homeless.